So you may be wondering, how the hell do I record into Pro Tools? Well today I'm going to show you exactly how to use it in this video. How to record into Ableton, how to connect it to your audio interface, and how to just get straight to recording, how to record your vocals, how to record guitar. Let's just get straight to it. What's up guys? If you haven't met me before, my name is Garrett and I like to make music production tutorials and sort of audio engineering tutorials on my YouTube channel. I like to teach the basics of how to produce music, unboxing videos, all sorts. I just love gear and I love producing music. So let's just jump right in and learn how to record these damn vocals. All right guys, so we are officially in the Pro Tools main uh, menu. There's two different menus. So you got the mix menu and this menu. If you wanna see the different menus, you have just go on the window and just look up the edit and mix menu. So there we go. Uh, there's a short little shortcut to this, so uh, you just press Command and Plus, and then you can switch between the two menus. So this is going to be really important for this tutorial, right? To get audio into Pro Tools, you have to create a track. So let's create a track from scratch. You go New, and then you want to create a mono track for recording like let's say vocals or something like that you don't want to record stereo you want to record a mono track so let's create a mono track so let's say we want to record into this audio track what we want to do is go into the other menu and then look up the drop down of inputs and outputs we want to make sure that our audio interface is connected to our computer or our monitor and from there, we want to select the input that our cable from our, our microphone is connected to. So for me, it's input one. So from there, all we have to do is click the I button, which is track input monitor. So that means you can hear yourself back when you're recording. There we go. So straight away, you can see that there's audio coming in when I go closer to the mic and then press the red button to be able to record. And that's as simple, uh, it's as simple as that really. That's how you set up your Pro Tools session to be able to record vocals. If you're having any more problems, let's go to the other menu again. Remember Command Plus, and then you can go to Setup, make sure that your hardware is connected. So right there, I've got the Claret 2 Pre USB. And then also make sure that your playback engine's correct. So I've got my audio interface connected. Make sure that your buffer size is relatively a bit lower than usual. So uh, when you're recording vocals, usually you want to record it at a lower buffer size. So something like 128 samples or 256 samples. You want to set your record enabled and then you want to click the play button and then from there you're able to record vocals as you can see the vocals are being recorded right now and it's super simple that's all you have to do to record vocals and then from there all you have to do is press the space bar and there you've got your audio recording so what you can do to get playback is click off the track input and then have a listen back and then from there you're able to record vocals as you can see the vocals are being recorded right now and it's super simple that's all you have to do to record vocals and then from there all you have to do is press the sp there we go and that's how you record vocals inside of Pro Tools guys there we go We've graduated. We've learned something today. <clears throat> yes, yeah, sick. All right. Let's save that. Always make sure you save. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to learn more about Pro Tools, if you want to see some unboxing videos, more about music gear, make sure that you subscribe and click like on this video because you learned something and I gave you some value. So have a beautiful day and I will see you again soon. Let's get it.